Yo, what up YouTube, it's your boy Turfies, and today we're coming in with a certified banger. And today we're gonna to be talking about five best ways to get higher. Now, I don't think there's much more I need to explain before we get into it, so let's just get right into it. Now, at the bottom at number five, I'd have to put joints and blunts. This is just mainly because, although they're definitely very fun, and I've been smoking a lot of joints recently, like especially on the channel, just the fact that you need to put a decent amount in compared to something like a vaporizer where you can pack, or a bowl where you can pack a very small amount in, you have to pack a little bit more into a joint. You're just gonna smoke it for 30 seconds and not much is gonna happen. You're also just smoking the paper along with it, and although there's no scientific proof that rolling paper is actually very harmful for you, just combusting and inhaling paper definitely can't be great for you. So for those reasons, we're gonna be putting it at number five. Number four, I think we're gonna put edibles. And now edibles are a really weird one and just a really interesting one, but there's also a lot of reasons they can't be much higher for as high as you can get with them. Although it's really easy to get an edible dose, like, you know, 500 plus milligrams and get to a crazy amount of high that you just can't get it with anything else. Even just next to dabbing, it's just not quite like a really crazy edible high. There's just a lot of downsides to them besides that <laughs> there's just a lot of downsides to edibles compared to a lot of quicker consumption method like a lot of the other ones on those list like smoking. If you have a high tolerance, you're buying prepackaged gummies. In most legal states, they only have a 100 milligram limit. And you're paying easy, like, you know, 20, 30 bucks on the low end for a pack of gummies. And if you have a high tolerance, you need five, 600 milligrams. You're gonna need five to six bags. You're gonna be spending $100 just to get high ones. It just doesn't really make much sense. It's also just besides nanotech edibles, 95% of edibles, it's just not like smoking where you can do it right away and you know, be feeling the effects in 5-10 minutes. Edibles, it depends so much on your digestion, but at absolute minimum, I'd say it'd be take about an hour to feel the effects of a normal one, and sometimes it's legit take me like two and a half to three to even feel it. Those are when you're like, is this even going to work, and then you're about to sleep on the couch. Now for number three, we're coming in with bong rips. And now we're getting into stuff all, I think everybody really loves, especially three, two, one. I'm not saying that joints and blunts and edibles just aren't as fun as each other, but the next three are just a lot closer together in the rank than the other one. Like they're more outliers and these are a lot closer. Now I believe there isn't not much to be said about bong rips, but we'll still just talk about it a little. You're getting all the glass, you're not having to, you know, smoke any paper or anything. If you, especially if you use your lighter white or you're using hemp wick if you prefer that, you're just not getting any extra residual butane or anything. You're just getting the straight flavor of your herb. And you're also getting water filtration, so you can take really big, cool, smooth rips without absolutely dying like on a dry rip. Honestly, bong rips, if you don't have what it's gonna come up with two in one, it's probably the best way to smoke. Now, emphasis on smoke, so let's go on to number two. Now that we've talked about it, let's just rip one quick. Cheers. Now for number two, we're gonna have dry herb vapor eyes. Now for dry herb vaporizers, it's the same a lot of the advantages like a volcano. It's just really smooth because you're getting it through with low temperature. You can also add water filtration. And it's also not like papers or anything where you're just not smoking anything residual. You know, you're just packing the butt into the vaporizer and just vaping the butt. There are three main advantages about the vaporizer that puts it ahead of the bomb for me. And the first is just the flavor. Because you're not actually combusting the butt, the flavors you can get from a vaporizer are just absolutely insane. Second, that it just doesn't smell as much. Even in a legal state or in a place where you're allowed to smoke, it's sometimes not fun to, you know, smoke a whole joint or a blunt or something, then have it smell your room up for a couple hours. Vaporizers, especially if you just have a fan or an open window, smell will be gone 15, 20 minutes max, which is crazy. Third is with vaporizers, you don't get ash when you're done, you get ABV or already vaped blood. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. So you can actually just eat it raw like in edibles, or you can water cure it to make it into your own edibles to get rid of that weird like herb taste that some people don't like. And there's also just a lot of other stuff, like you can make wax with it. There's just a lot of stuff you can do that you can't just do with ash, you know, you just have to throw that out. When we talk about vaporizers, let's just get a volcano bag going. We got this bag going here. Let's just do a competition. Like I usually just do it in every video, but let's really try in this one to get this in as few inhales as possible. Let's see if we can do this in like three or four. But anyway, cheers, family. 
Take a sip of water on that. I don't gotta look like a bitch on the tube. Cheers. Okay, I still got a little bit to go. Let's see if we can do this. That's not 100%, but that's like 95%. I'll still say that was about three, but let's just say it's four to make it fair. Still a little bit left. Anyway, let's talk about the Mabuo. Now for number one, it's definitely gonna have to go to dabs. Now dabs are interesting because it's just a strange combination, but I feel it's the best of a lot of worlds. First, you're getting the flavor. There's even compared to drier vaporization, dab just give you a crazy flavor you can't get anywhere else. And that's just because of the concentrate that you're using. Just because of the fact that you're using concentrate, you can get such a crazy, more flavorful thing because you're not burning any plant material or any of the chlorophyll of the plant. You're just getting the terpenes and the THC. Like even just total terpenes, most bud, I'd say like 25 to 30% is pretty average for dispensary bud. But even rosin, which is a lower THC percentage, you're not finding any rosin below like 55, 60% THC, which that's over double. It also just gives you crazy effects that you can't get from any other instant form of smoking. You can get those crazy effects from edibles too, but edibles just take a while and you have to, they're more expensive and there's just so much more that goes into it versus just taking a quick dab, which you can do in a minute or two. Now that we've talked about it, I think let's just take a dab quick. I got this loaded up in pre-eating right now. I got a dab of some big grape in here. Let's just see how it tastes. I've only dabbed this strain a couple times, so it's gonna be a new experience, man. It's a whole new world. Anyway, it should be ready in about a second or two. I can see the vapor already. Cheers. Let's go. It's a full lot of flavor to salt, holy shit. Although I do most of my smoking out of the Volcano, which is a little expensive for most people, you can get a Dynavap B or M for about $45 to $50. That's about the same price you would get any other bong, and that's a fully featured vaporizer that does crazy performance. I might do a video on one of those later if you're interested. And now I know for me personally, I'm gonna say dabs is the best way to get high for me personally, but that also doesn't mean I don't use my Volcano a lot. I probably use, I'd say dabs 55 to 60% and the Volcano or smoking about 40 to 45%. So it's right about equal, but I would say dabbing just edges out and I think it's just what I prefer overall. But it's still just a personal preference thing and if you haven't tried all these different methods, you should just try them out and see which one's the best for you. But anyway, hope you had some fun, learned something new. Turkey's up.